Tazakuri Quran is reading the Quran and understanding the meaning superficially, which can be very well done by reading the translation of the Quran as well as the Arabic. The other is Tadabbure Quran is pondering over the meaning of the Quran. Thinking over the meaning of the Quran. This, if you read the translation, it can be done to a certain level, but if you know Arabic as a language, it is the best. Tadabbure Quran can be done much better by knowing Arabic as a language. A person can say that he has done Tadabbure Quran, he has read the Quran. But no one can say that he has finished doing Tadabbure Quran. He has finished pondering over all the verses of the Quran. Because the Quran is beautiful. It is unlike any other book that you read once it's finished. If it's a very good book, you read twice, thrice, that's it. Quran, even if you read a thousand times, the thousand and first time you read, you get more guidance. Every verse of the Quran, it has different angles to look at. The words of the Quran are fantastic. That is the reason no human being can say that I have finished pondering over the verses of the Quran. You can do tazakur e Quran, but tadabur e Quran. The more you read, the more you ponder, the more you understand, inshallah, the more will you implement. Every Muslim home should have a copy of the Quran. And if they don't understand Arabic, they should have the translation of the Quran in the language they understand the best. This Quran is the best gift you can give to any human being, irrespective whether he is a Muslim or non-Muslim, irrespective whether the person you are giving the gift to is rich or poor, whether it's a nikah or whether it's a housewarming ceremony, the best gift you can give, the most invaluable gift is the copy of the glorious Quran. And if the person doesn't understand Arabic, give the translation of the glorious Quran in the language you understand the best. The best gift you can give to your child is the Quran. Many of us Muslims, we send our children to learn how to recite the Quran. Some of them may have the Quran, but very few non-Arabs. They make the children and they educate the children in the language of Arabic. So that they can understand the Quran directly, very few. The best gift you can give to the child is the gift of the Quran. Most of us, including myself, we were unfortunate that our parents did not think it important that we should learn Arabic as a language when we were children. Don't make that same mistake. See to it that you teach your children Arabic as a language. It is the best gift you can give to your children. It is the best degree you can give. Believe me, all the other degrees of colleges, universities, it may or may not help him in this world. In the Akhirah, if it does not get him closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is useless. But if you give the gift of the Quran, if you give the gift of the language of Arabic, Inshallah. Because our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that when a person dies, three things yet get them sawab jariya. One is what he has spent in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, the knowledge that is spread in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number three, pious children who pray for him. So the best gift you can give to your children is the gift of the Quran. It is a guide for his full life. And we should make it a habit that we read the Quran daily. Whichever time you feel is the best, let's daily have a family gathering, mother and father along with the children, and recite depending upon the time available, maybe two ruku, three ruku, Arabic along with the translation you understand the best. If every day you read the Quran with understanding, it will change your life. And I also tell all the Muslim businessmen that make it compulsory for your employees 
to read the Quran daily. In Islamic Space Foundation, mashallah, we have more than 400 employees in all the organizations, alhamdulillah. It's compulsory. Every day when they come, the first thing when they swipe the card or they put the thumb, thumbprint, you know the new machines, thumbprint and the attendance ship takes the attendance. Okay, this is so and so. He came to the office at 10 o'clock. The first thing he has to do is read at least for 15 minutes. At least one ruku, two ruku of the Quran along with the translation in the language I understand the best. Some people will think, 15 minutes every day? Six days a week? 12 months in a year? 400 employees? Calculate. Lakhs of rupees gone down the drain every month. Believe me, it will benefit you. When your employees, when they read the Quran, along with the translation, they will work better for you. They will learn honesty. They will come on the straight path. Irrespective of the employee, Muslim or non-Muslim, he will get hidayah. In our organization, all that we have, it's compulsory that you should read the Quran along with translation every day. Compulsory. I request that all the businessmen here who have got businesses and employees, see to it that you implement it in your business place also. Inshallah, it will benefit you. And there are various different ways. You can read the Quran from first page to last page. See to it, you complete it. At times, you may want to read it via the index. You want to read what does the Quran speak about women? What does the Quran speak about heaven? What does the Quran speak about angels? Topic wise. Or you open the Quran and read whatever comes. The various. But see to it that you daily read the Quran. And even regularly reading from cover to cover is very important. And since the talk is in English, there are, mashallah, I think more than 50 different English translations of the Quran. More than 50. And in our organization itself, we have more than 50 different languages in which the Quran has been translated. Much more than that, in our organization, we have more than 50 different languages. In the English translation, the one that I recommend best is Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Amongst all the translations I've read, I feel this is the most comprehensive. And he took approximately 40 years to write the translation. And though his English is a bit archaic, it's a biblical, e, the, thou, but it's more closer to Arabic. In normal English, when you say you, it's the same in Arabic. You know, for you, for female is different, for male is different, singular is different, dual is different, plural is different, six types. Anta, anti, you know all. In English, one you, whether it's a male, single, or female single. Male dual or female dual. Male multiple or female multiple. All six the same. You. Shortcut. So this archaic English is more closer. But it may be difficult for the modern people to understand. But there are other people who have made it easy. But Abdul Aziz overall I feel the commentary that he has given and the footnotes and the index topic wise I recommend for non-Muslim as well as for Muslim this is one of the good English translations.